Good evening. Tonight we're taking a look at I Tarot Light. It's our first look at Mad Mohawk Gaming, at this Gypsy Tarot deck. It's uh, the Ancient Tarot of Marseille. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that decently and not totally massacring it. And in the Gypsy Tarot is your question precise. Do you want a simple and effective answer? Draw three cards, past, present, and future. But past is spelled wrong, unfortunately. So I guess the folks who wrote this, English is not their first language. And uh, if your question relates to love, click emotional, financial and professional, or uh, your family circle. Those are your three choices. I guess they're all three three card spreads. I actually thought there was a fourth one to do a three card spread. That's why I went back. So let's uh, click love and ponder our question. We'll shuffle the cards by shaking, which is always fun. Any day now, we will shake the cards to shuffle. There you go, a nice shuffle. Then you hit draw cards, and you choose your past, future, and present. I don't know why it's out of sequence, but whatever. And pick a last card. And then it shows the three cards that you've chosen. And then you can click start the reading. And as you click on each card, it will give you the uh, meaning behind it. And this first card is the devil. And that represents the past for the consultant, which is whoever's using the app, obviously. And I'm not going to bother to read what the devil card represents because you can see it in front of your eyes yourself so the graphics on this aren't spectacular but they're not terrible either they're definitely serviceable as are most of the tarot apps some go really crazy on creating gorgeous gorgeous graphics this is not one of them but again it's, I guess, the artwork of the ancient Tarot of Marseille. So they're using the old and probably out of copyright imagery from that deck. Which makes sense since if you don't have to create the deck from scratch, it makes creating the app that much easier. Uh, I believe if you pay... You can get rid of the ads in this, but uh, and it gives you, I believe, three other decks, or possibly it's other spreads. I don't remember. It mentions it at the beginning, and I forgot to pay attention. But anyway, it's a very serviceable deck. My second card representing my future was the Emperor, I believe. Oh, let's shuffle and go back. To the gypsy tarot and do Korea this time and we will shake the iPad in this case to shuffle and choose our past future and present why it chooses in that order I don't understand but start the reading Our past is represented by the tower, with a bunch of folks falling out of it, it seems like. Again, I won't read what it says, since you can just read it yourself on the screen. No point me droning on. This is a serviceable deck, serviceable app. You don't have annoying ads popping up in the middle of the reading, which is excellent. And... Uh, our future 
or oh, our present is the high priestess. And again, it will give us below what is represented by the high priestess. So you can get some idea of where you're at with your reading if you're not very adept at doing your own readings. And lastly, we do our future. And in this case, it's the Hierophant. Hopefully, I didn't mispronounce that too terrifyingly. But if I do, I, if I did, I apologize. And anyway, that's a quick look at this free tarot app called iTarot Lite. So, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Let us know if you actually like these tarot app looks because it seems like we don't have a lot of people viewing them. That's all for now. Have a great night. Bye for now. Onagiwahi.